3D printed lithophanes, like the ones I have here, are a lot of fun, easy to make, and can be great to give as a gift. Today, I'll be showing you how to make one of these 3D printed lithophanes in a quick, fun, and easy way, right here on That Techo Guy. Time to start designing our lithophane. You'll need two things to do this. Obviously you'll need your photo or the design that you want on the lithophane and to go to this website as well called 3dp.rocks slash lithophane. The link is in the description below. You can click that and it'll take you right to this site. So the first thing that you need to do is click on images, browse and select the image you want. In my case, I'm going to uh, select my cute avatar, Teko guy avatar for the channel. Let that load up and that's loaded up right there. Now at the moment we have a negative image here and we need to have it as a positive image so it's going to become inverted. So I'll show you what I mean. If you can tell the difference, so here at the moment the face is popping out. Now we need to go to settings, image settings, and change this to positive image. This is very important, otherwise the effect won't be there. If we go back to model now, and we click on refresh, notice the change. So now we can see that the face is now kind of engraved into the lithophane. It's engraved into the lithophane and the hair is popping out, which means that for the hair part, Light's going to be blocked at the back more, so it's going to be darker. And for the skin part, it's going to be paler because light can pass more easily through it because it's thinner. Okay. Now, normally, what I also like to choose from these designs is an outer curve. So the outer curve will give you this design right here. It's kind of nice because it can stand up on its own as well. So it's kind of cool design as well. That's the one I like to choose most. Now, if you notice that the introduction, I was holding a heart in my hand. Now there is a heart here that you can choose, but this heart will kind of print the design on the outside edges of the heart. Uh, whereas my heart, the one I was holding was printed with the image inside the heart, which is nicer in my opinion. So I'll show you how to do that a little bit later on with a different method, which is very easy to do as well. So other settings that you can change are the model settings here. You can change the maximum size. For example, you can make it bigger or smaller, uh, but our lithophane here is 10 centimeters and I think that's enough. Normally I leave all these defaults as they are because they, they are pretty spot on. Thickness is three millimeters, which is good as well. Some people like to have a border around the, the edge of the lithophane. Uh, I'm just gonna leave mine as zero for now, but it does look nice on certain images as well. Um, the thinnest layer will be 0.8. So the thinnest layer in my case was where the face part was. That's going to be the thinnest layer. And curve, I'm gonna leave as is. That's gonna be just fine. So we're gonna to go to download and you can choose to either save the file or just open up with your slicer. You can choose any slicer, Simplify 3D, Kura, Prusa Slicer. I'm gonna go for Prusa Slicer. They're all gonna do the same thing. Give that a second to open up. And there's our Prusa Slicer with the lithophane. Looking good. Okay, now, a few settings we need to change in the slicer is uh, print quality I normally like, like to leave at 0.2 it gives you great results if you want to go for 0.1 it'll take longer to print obviously but it will give you less visible layer lines when you put it up to to the light um, but I'll leave it as 0.2 it'll still look very very good as well infill you should put at 100%. I'm going to go with the slicer recommendation to switch to rectilinear fill pattern. And I'm going to add a brim in order to have better adhesion to the build plate so that the lithophane doesn't come off during the print. Okay, there's the brim there. 
and that's our little thing there. Dimensions are correct, and it's stating that it's going to take approximately 3 hours and 51 minutes, so almost 4 hours, which is quite, quite good, actually. Um, so we're just going to export that file and just send it to the printer and print. Okay, for the second part, like I mentioned earlier, was the heart, as you can see here. There's another website called lithophanemaker.com. And basically, uh, this is another alternative site to the uh, three, three DP rocks where we were before. Um, but there are a few more options here to choose from as well. So um, I'm gonna go for the heart one. You can make like even night lights and light boxes globes it's it's really a good site as well the heart is really extremely extremely easy to do basically you're just going to browse for the file we're going to use the same example my techo guy avatar you move this blue box so you basically are just cropping around where you need the image to be i'm going to pull this a bit further down and just give it slightly a bit up okay you can play around with the contrast and brightness, but these look to be just fine. Let me see the contrast, just increase it just slightly. That looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna click on Create Lithophane. And I'm gonna open it with my Prusa Slicer again. That'll open up very soon. There it is. And there is our heart with my cute little avatar so basically same thing again infill needs to be 100 percent switch and i'm going to obviously create a brim because here the contact point is really really small so it's imperative that there's a brim there in order for it not to uh, fall off during print another thing another important point that i i want to mention is that it is important that you print this vertically um, if you choose the uh, the flat image, so for example, if I was here to print this like this, flat, okay, it's going to put this on the print bed as flat. It's important that the layer lines build up uh, towards the height of the lithophane and not bottom to top because even for the intricate details, it'll be more difficult for the printer to print. So that is very important. Important that this is printed up like this, vertically and not flat. It'll give you much better results. I'm gonna slice it. There's no need for supports. I've done this heart a hundred times and every time it turns out just great. So our brim is right there. And that's basically a quick and easy way to create the heart. So let's see what these look like in real life and so you can see the detail.
And there you have it, 3D printed lithophanes that you can create easily and these are really fun and practical as you can also give them as a gift. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below and also let me know what 3D lithophanes you've created and what designs you've used as well. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button and until next time, thanks for watching.